network, modify communication settings such as the IP address for the camera so that the camera can communicate with other devices. Static, set fixed IP address. Make sure the IP address of the camera is unique. PPPoE, if the camera is connected to the network through PPPoE, you need to select PPPoE as the IP obtainment mode. DHCP, the camera can automatically obtain an IP address from the DHCP server with enabling DHCP function. Most routers can serve as DHCP servers. The camera support IPv6 by manual added. MTU support adjusts from 576 to 1500. Operating mode support multiple strategies. The auto negotiation is recommended. It is recommended to set DNS domain name system by default. Set the specified port of a function. The default setting is good if not using the same port by the same IP address. Port mapping, if manual is selected. Then external ports must be configured external IP is obtained automatically by the camera. If the configured port is occupied, then the status will show inactive. Set external port information. DDNS support three types DY and DNS slash and OIP slash EZD DNS CZD DNS is come to or by his cloud. One, this function is not available to all models. Two, scan the QR code with your mobile phone EOS or Android to download the APP. Three, when installed, run the APP to scan the QR code to add the camera. Please refer to the online help in the APP for detailed steps. Set email address so that the device can inform you when alarm happened by linkage trigger action.
SNMP Simple Network Management Protocol SNMP v3 is recommended when a camera needs to transfer configuration with the central server. Both the camera and the central server should support SNMP v3. Make sure that the read community is the same one between the camera and the central server while using SNMP v2. Eight hundred two point one X provides authentication to devices, for example, cameras trying to connect to a network. Only the authenticated devices can connect the network. This enhances security. CoS quality of service is the ability to provide better service for specified network communication. As a network security mechanism, CoS is used to address problems like network delay and blocking. When the network is overloaded or congested, CoS ensures the critical services are not delayed or discarded and that the network runs efficiently.